Yeah, that was a stiff one for you. Look how fast she walks. Look at those feet. Look at those feet. Well, Austin is taking a nap. I am sanitizing some bottles and I wanted to tell you guys about cloth diapering. This is our journey with cloth diapering. We are first time parents. We've never done this before, but this is what we know. This is the research we've done on how to cloth diaper your little. First thing is what the heck is a cloth diaper versus your disposable diapers that you buy at the store and can throw away. A cloth diaper is a reusable diaper that is typically made from some kind of cotton or bamboo or natural material or even man-made material or a combination of both. The main thing is that you can reuse, rewash these cloth diapers. You don't have to throw them away. Next is why did we choose to cloth diaper? So this was a huge debate between myself and my husband for a long time. We never planned on cloth diapering. Before this point, I kind of thought it was ridiculous. I thought it was going to be way too much to do. I thought it was going to be one more thing to add to the hassle list for us especially being new parents. And then I started doing some research and what kicked this off was re-watching WALL-E. So if you haven't seen WALL-E, the Disney movie, go watch WALL-E and then you'll really start thinking about what you can do to save Mother Earth. The reason that we decided to cloth diaper is because A, it is so, so, so much more economically friendly. B, we are going to save so much money by cloth diapering. We also know what kinds of chemicals are being put on or at least put next to our daughter's skin. We're doing it, it is so easy. It is not what we thought it was going to be as far as difficulty. And we are absolutely loving the cloth diapering. I have to show you this. Sleeping with her hand up. So something I was super, super interested in when we started the cloth diapering journey was how much are you actually going to save on cloth diapering versus disposable diapering? For us, I have crunched the numbers as far as how much we spend on water, electricity, how much we've spent on the actual diapers themselves versus how much you would spend on disposable diapers. So according to Mayo Clinic, most children are potty trained between 20 months and 36 months. So for us, we average about seven diapers a day, which equals 4,200 diapers for 20 months. And then for 36 months, it would be 7,560 diapers total. If we were going to choose to disposable diaper our daughter, we would want to choose something that is super eco-friendly, that is plant-derived, that is scent-free, chlorine-free. So we would probably go with a brand like Seventh Generation or The Honest Company. Both of those kind of have, or at least align with the values that we were going for when we were trying to decide between cloth diapering and disposable diapering. I looked up bulk packages of diapers for both of those brands and kind of averaged out the price. For 80 diapers, it's about $30 for both of those brands, that's the average. So you're looking at about $80 a month for disposable diapering. So say your child is potty trained in 20 months, that would be $1,600 in diapers. If your child is potty trained by 36 months, it would be 28 80 in diapers, so $2,880 in diapers. Now switching gears to go over to the cloth diapering side of things, we have personally purchased $371 worth of diapers. So for us, our water and electricity per week is $3.26. That means we are spending $3.26 because we do one load every three days. So for us, it costs $3.26 per week to do those loads in electricity and water. So per month, we're spending $13. 
So if you multiplied that by the 20 months that it might take her to potty train, that would equal $260 in water and electricity. If she potty trains at 36 months, that looks like $468 in water and electricity. So if she potty trains by 20 months, we will have spent $631 in water, electricity, and diapers. If she potty trains by 36 months, we will have spent $839 in water, electricity, and diapers. What you really want to know is how much we have actually saved or will actually save in cloth diapering versus disposable diapering. If she potty trains by 20 months, we will have saved $969. If she potty trains by 36 months, we will have saved $2,041. To some, those savings amounts may not be much, but to us, it is huge. That is a lot of money to save. That's a lot of savings. That's a lot of diapers. And on top of that, it's not just about the monetary savings. It's also about the eco-friendliness. It's also about the chemicals that are being placed next to your daughter or your son's skin. There's a lot that goes into it. And and this savings is a huge part for us. <laughs> Something that I forgot to factor in to those prices are things like your diaper pail, your diaper pail liner, your detergent, and any stripping agents that you might use. I kind of added it up as a rough estimate and I would say about $100 added to those totals. So next on our list is the types of cloth diapers. The types that we use are all-in-ones and insert diapers. So they're also called pocket diapers. Those are your basic modern cloth diapering methods. There is another kind called flats and we don't use those at all, but I will link a description of what a flat diaper is in case you're interested in that. To us, it is a little bit more complicated than what we use, and so we just decided against that. So the first type of diaper that we use is an all-in-one diaper. This is by Thirsty's. This is Thirsty's brand. So what that means is it's literally all in one. There are no separate parts to your diaper. All of the parts are all in one diaper. Your diapers are going to come with the insert already sewn in. So you don't have to stuff the diaper or the insert into a pocket. It's already sewn in there. You don't have to separate pieces. It's all in one. That might be confusing if you don't know what I mean by an insert. So let me show you what I mean by a pocket or an insert diaper. They're both the same thing. For our pocket diapers or insert diapers, you're going to have a cover and it has buttons here at the top that are adjustable according to how big your baby is. It's got the gussets, the expandable gussets here to keep them tight around your baby's legs so that they don't soil their clothing. And then you've got some buttons. Sometimes it's Velcro. There's all kinds of different clasps that attach it just like you would a regular disposable diaper. The pocket comes in where you've got an insert to make up your absorbency part of the diaper that inserts into this pocket here. So it would insert into the diaper and there you go. You've got your pocket diaper or your inserts. You're probably wondering how we do the laundry. So at this point, she's still eating formula. We are unable to breastfeed, but she's still on formula, which is water soluble. Breast milk and formula are both water soluble. So what that means is that you don't have to do any pre-washing of the diapers before you put them into the washing machine. So literally what we do, we take the soiled diapers, we put them in the diaper pail, and then we put them directly into the washing machine. So what that looks like for the first cycle, we do one heavy load set on heavy, do that on hot water. So after the first load on heavy, then we take them out and we remove all of the inserts so that the inserts can get really clean and the covers can get really clean. On the second cycle, we put a regular amount of detergent on the heavy cycle again and on hot water again. Then if we feel they need a third cycle, which typically we do, we run them again on hot water, heavy setting, and 
about half the amount of detergent. This all depends on your detergent, your washing machine, and how soiled your diapers are. When she gets to eating solid foods that are not water soluble, we will have to use our diaper sprayer to spray off any poop, then put them in the wash because those foods are not water soluble. So that's what will change when she does start eating solid foods. Other than that, it's super simple. Even our nanny is okay with cloth diapering because it's essentially the same as disposable diapering. All you do is take the soiled diaper and put it in a wet bag instead of the trash. Something I did wanna add is that for our drying routine, we do put them in our dryer just because that was kind of a compromise between myself and my husband that we would put them in the dryer instead of hanging them to dry. But you can hang them to dry. We will definitely utilize hanging them to dry during the summer, but it is winter here and we're not putting them outside. We're not going outside to put them outside. You can mitigate stains by putting them out in the sunshine, putting at least the liners out in the sunshine, the inserts. That's one more natural way that you can remove stains if you've got any. Here are all the diapers when all of the inserts are put in and they're folded and they're ready to go in the drawer. The first brand that we have is Nora's Nursery. And these diapers are pocket diapers. So they do have the blended insert. You remove the insert to wash them and then you put the insert back in whenever you're ready to use them. The next brand that we have is Mama Koala. We have six of these just because I loved the tie dye. And these two are pocket diapers. They have the inserts. These inserts are microfiber inserts though. So they are not blended, just the microfiber. Next we have Thirsty's brand diapers. These are are not actually inserts. These are all in one diapers. So you do not have to put anything in any pockets. You do not have to remove anything for these diapers. These are all in ones. So the inserts are sewn into the diapers. You don't have to do anything. They're super, super easy. Next brand we have is Bambino and these are the Mio type. These are also in my mind considered all in ones because the insert is attached. However, you can remove the insert from the pocket. This is still nest like technically an all-in-one diaper. It's just you can remove the little insert. So there is a pocket that you can put it in versus these are all-in-ones, but the inserts are just kind of laying on top and still attached. The next brand that we have, we do have a couple of Charlie Banana. The others are dirty right now. These are also insert diapers. They are a blend. So they have the pocket that you put the insert in. We just got these Alva babies. These are also pocket diapers. They come with a microfiber insert. Tons of people rave about the Alva baby diapers on Amazon because of the price point. They say that they are really good quality for that price point as well. We've got, let's see, these are Nikki's diapers. And I believe we only have one of these. We did have a few newborn Nikki diapers, but we don't have the newborn ones anymore. They're too small. And then this is a happy endings diaper. Our favorite are definitely, definitely the Nora's Nursery diapers. We absolutely love the Nora's Nursery diapers. They are a pocket diaper, but the reason that we chose those to be our favorite is because the insert is a blend. They absorb really well, and the price point is really good for how adorable these diapers are. So they come in adorable prints. You can get a four pack for about $36. So that's not too terrible. Whereas I would say Thirsty's brand comes in second for us. However, you can get, uh, let's see, I think it's a five pack for around $103, somewhere around there. So that's quite a big difference for these diapers. Therefore, Nora's Nursery wins. Something else that we were kind of concerned about is smell. Is our entire room going to be smelly if we leave the diaper pail in there for too long? What are ways that we can mitigate the smell? And so I definitely wanted to do this as naturally as possible. So the next step that I took was to get just regular baking soda and I keep it right by the diaper pail. And every now and again, I will take, this is just a scoop 
from our formula. Every now and again, I will take a scoop and I will throw it down in the diaper pail. It seems to work pretty well. We don't even have any kind of super fancy diaper pail. We don't have a diaper genie or anything that was really meant to keep the smell in. All we use is, I believe it's a $20 Rubbermaid trash can and it's a step open trash can and I will link that in the description below. We have never had a problem with the smell. Now you will definitely notice it when you open the lid, but as far as it's stinking up the room, that has never been a problem. We do use regular disposable wipes. We keep those in an open trash can so the top is open. That, however, has caused a little bit of a smell problem. Just because it's open, we wanted it to keep as dry as possible. But the diaper pail itself has never posed a problem as far as smell, and I don't know whether that is just because we wash them every three days or because of the baking soda, but in my mind, hey, at least I'm trying something. <laughs> 